Today in the B Block, an NBA coach and her quest for both a new job and to become a mother. Jenny Busick's long professional coaching career, the WNBA, led her to a position last year as a player development coach with the NBA Sacramento Kings, even as she was several years into her personal quest to become pregnant through in vitro fertilization. My colleague Zach Lowe has an outstanding story on Jenny on ESPN.com. And after this past NBA season, Jenny, far along now in her pregnancy, was hired by the Dallas Mavericks. And we spoke Monday afternoon. And I am joined now by Jenny Busick. I usually ask my guests how they're doing. It has a, an extra level of meaning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's an exciting day. As, as you know, I'm on my way to the hospital. <laughs> we, we're recording this interview Monday afternoon. So when we finish our conversation, you're going to deliver the baby? Yes, that's right. Um, because of my back injury from my playing career, uh, they're choosing to do a C-section, so we're heading to the hospital right after this. So you've got yeah. your, your family in tow and, and everyone's there, the whole support network. Yes, this is a team effort, so the, <laughs> it's part of the team is here. So we're, we're well taken care of, oh. but I know I can, I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> oh, that, that, that is great. Um, as the season ended and you were completing your year with the Sacramento Kings and your pregnancy, I mean, you're showing and it's, it's well known. Uh, you had interest from, from several teams. What was your reaction when you said, you know, the, the, the marketplace is competing for my services even though I'm, I'm well along here in my pregnancy? Well, I, I mean, shocked, to be honest with you. I, I was prepared to take a year off, um, and I thought that was fair, you know, that I wouldn't be able to be 100% here um, with the team. I won't be able to travel till February. And so I thought maybe I'd volunteer somewhere and just try to stay in it, um, keep learning. But I've been blown away with the, the understanding and the support of the NBA coaches, um, several of them, I mean, more than I can name, and then also just my WNBA family. But, but yeah, when it actually turned into job opportunities and people being willing to work with me, um, I was very, very surprised, humbled, um, and extremely pleased, you know, because this is the, what I love yeah. to do. I love to coach basketball. So to not be able to have, have to give that up for a year and to welcome my daughter into the world doing what I love and what hopefully she will love um, is just been a huge blessing. So exactly what will your position be, that, at least this first season with the Mavericks? It's going to be basically an amended coach's role, so like a utility player for the coaching staff. So I'll be just around to help out with every facet of coaching. And then we'll, we're just going to see how it goes and reevaluate in February when it's been six months um, and see if travel makes sense or, or what makes sense. But, but basically a utility player. What sort of questions have you had to answer for yourself about balancing the new role of mother with your career aspirations and the unforgiving nature of the NBA? Certainly the immediate aftermath of, of the birth, you're, you're going to be home. But just that whole work-life balance, which for you, it, this is very unique. Well, it's, it's funny. You know, Rick Carlisle's probably um, been overprotective of me in a lot of ways. He's married to a, a lady who is a pediatrician. He has a 13-year-old daughter. And he keeps warning me, like, you don't seem to know what you're getting into. So I think he has a better feel for what I'm getting into than I do. So I'm just living my life. I can't wait to have a daughter. I can't wait to figure it out. I'm confident that me and my family and my friends will figure it out. Um, but Rick has been really, really um, just very respectful of what this is and, and wanting me to understand it as best I can. He texted me this morning, and he asked me how I was feeling. I said, I'm actually really nervous. He goes, okay, so you're finally ready. <laughs> <laughs> i, I got to ask you one basketball question before we let you go to the hospital. Uh, what is job one for the Mavericks? Okay, they got Luka Doncic uh, off the trade, off the draft. Uh, they were a lottery team. What, what's job one here? Well, you know, we have a lot of new faces, and that's been kind of common for the Mavericks. So I think we're looking forward to creating some continuity with um, some foundational pieces and developing some of our young guys as well as continuing to, to use Dirk to the max, you know, in, in these latter years, not just his play but his leadership. Um, and try to really transition into the next um, season of Mavericks basketball where we're hoping to get back to the playoffs sooner rather than later. What do you think working for a team owned by Mark Cuban, what's that going to be like? Well, I, you know, I got a chance to meet him on my interview, and, I mean, he's a fascinating guy. He's obviously a genius, but he's also a visionary. And, um, and so just thinking outside the box with him is something that I really look forward to. All of the ideas that he has from a different perspective and all the outside box idea, outside the box mm -hmm. ideas. I'm excited to listen to him and talk to him about it and see if there are things that can make sense that we can use and continue to stay cutting edge. 
we wish you uh, the best of everything. God bless you as, as we conclude the interview and you, you head towards the hospital uh, with our good wishes and the, and the whole NBA family and uh, everyone here. Uh, Jenny, uh, all the best. Thank you so much. And so less than three hours later, Jenny delivered her daughter, Riley Hope Buzik, seven pounds, five ounces, 20 inches long. Mother, daughter doing fine. The Mavericks newest coach and a brand new baby girl, her daughter.